All right, sound chest, sound chest, sound tech, tech, whatever. <laughs> thought I'm so bored, I thought I'd have some fun and show off my rigs. This first setup is uh, this first setup is the 19. It's called a 1960. It's a Bugera, uh, 150 watts, all tube. It's a copy of the old Marshall Plexi head. No preamp, so you have to jump the channels if you want it to get dirty, and you have to turn it up to like six, so your ears are bleeding. So forget that. Um, but I've got uh, the 150 watt Bugera. I believe it's made. It's designed in Germany, at least, but it might be might be made in Germany. It might be made in China or, or Korea these days. Who knows? Uh, it's on top of the matching Bugera 412 cab, which has four. Uh, Bugera design speakers. They sound pretty good, pretty close to the Marshall stuff. Uh, it's coupled with a, I know the lighting's bad, sorry. Uh, it's a studio. We don't like bright lights. Um, uh, or loud noises. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's coupled, uh, the head has two cabinets. This is a 1990 PV 412 uh, cabinet. Uh, it has Celestian uh, GK85 watt, I believe, speakers. And I think the, uh, the Bugueras are very close. So yeah, because it, it's a super clean head, without it, without a preamp, uh, it's very clean. You can take out two of the tubes, the output tubes, and drop it to like 75 watts. It's still way too loud. So uh, you can mod it, or you can add a preamp, a tube preamp. And I've got the radial, which is made in British Columbia, Canada. Yay. A radial tone bone, the radial tone bone tri-mode, which is a real tube. And it makes it like as if the head had a real tube preamp in it. So it's really cool. Plus you get two channels, actually three, clean, rhythm, and lead. So I, I played you the clean, here's the rhythm. <laughs> Believe it or not, HFS, Hot Fat Screams. Yeah, I had a girlfriend like that years ago. Um, and the neck pickup is the vintage bass. My favorite pickups of all time. I love them. I've got them in all my guitars. So, yeah, Dirty Rhythm. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, welcome back to the uh, Graham's Guitar Rig Show, whatever. <laughs> Boredom sets in. Part two, I just demoed the Bugera head with the Bugera cab and the Tone Dome preamp, PV cab. Nice rhythm rig. Very nice. Well, actually, rhythm and lead, but loud. Woo! Okay, so now I'm on my Marshall rig, the House of Marshalls. Can you tell I love Marshalls and Jimmy's right behind us, of course, Jimmy love Marshalls. So uh, I'm going to be demoing the JCM uh, 2000 uh, dual super lead 100 watt head. That's cool. I also am not doing these tonight. Today I'm just tonight. I'm just going to demo this one, but I've got it running into a uh, JCM 800 uh, 412. With I, I can't even remember. I think there's 65 watt speakers, 75 Mar uh, Celestians. Also, my beautiful, beloved <laughs> uh, late 60s, early 70s, late 60s, early 70s Marshall 412 basket weave cab with 1967 pre Rolla 25 watt greenbacks, like the best speakers I've ever heard in the world. I can't really AB the stuff right now to show you what they sound like. Everything's mic'd up to run in the studio. But I'm just recording everything on my phone right now, so I don't even know how it's going to sound, but I just got so bored tonight. It's Halloween. I'm not doing anything. So here, anyway, here's part two. Uh, the Marshall Rig. Marshall Rig. I've also got a 1990, I believe, Marshall uh, 30th Anniversary 92. 30th Anniversary 100 watt triple channel head. Very nice. Loud, yes. And then also another mid 80s Marshall JCM 800 head, 50 watt. Beautiful. And next to that, a same thing, about the same year, I believe, JCM 800, 100 watt head. Almost mint condition. I got that whole half stack. Beautiful. What a deal. Uh, and in mint condition almost. Love my Marshalls. I got a huge pedal board that you can't see. Really, I've got reverb, I've got uh, different delays. Uh, I've got a Paul Gilbert airplane flanger, a multi-overtone, Boss multi-overtone. I don't use anything really right now except the reverb and the delays. I've got a whammy pedal, wah-wah, and a uh, Joyo PXL Live loop switcher. So you can make your loops and you can have your chorus and it'll switch the amp head as well. You can have your delays, whatever, it, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. Uh, and it also switches the head from different channels. So just like the Bugera, here's a nice, here's, well, not nice, it's it's clean, but it's, um, again, using my 2003 Paul Reed Smith CE24, uh, custom 20, or not custom, CE24 guitar, I love it, my favorite guitar ever, next to my Strat. Uh, stock pickups, HFS, and the vintage bass. And that's it. So that head, Marshall head, the JCM 2000, 100 watt is driving the two cabs, the two 412 cabs. It's powering the two 412s. But everything's just getting picked up on the BlackBerry mic. So here we go. Here's the cleanest sound that I get out of this thing. It's about as clean as it gets unless I switch to single coils. So, oops, where are we? There we go. Better make sure you plug it in, right? No, that's not clean. <laughs> there we go. That's as clean. That's as clean as it gets, really. It's a Marshall, and it's only running on half watt power, so it should be. It's at 60 watts right now, I think. But anyways, let's go to the. Uh, Mild or rhythm distortion. I like it. Nice meaty rhythm.
stepped off level distortion, more distortion for heavier stuff. <laughs> Happy Halloween.